Hi all, now I am going to show you how to synchronize Zog terminal with GNS3. For this you should have to install a GNS3 which I have already shared a video how to install GNS3. Uh, the link for this is in the description and you need to install a Zog terminal. The link for downloading a Zog terminal is also given in the description. First we just open GNS3. Yeah. Just connect two routers. Okay. okay uh, now just right click click on console it has been opening in putty that has been inbuilt in GNS3 you can configure auto redo but it's been doing you are in inbuilt GNS3 putty if you just want to open to the zog which I have already installed. Just check it. This is a Zog terminal which I have installed. This is the terminal application, Zog terminal application. If you want to synchronize this with GNS3, what you have to do is you want to go to edit preferences, go to console applications, edit console applications, edit and click Zog terminal. Click on OK. It will be sp specified to some other path. Now you just want to click your path. How you need to set your path is just a jog. Right click in Windows 10. You just want to go to the file location and you need to get it. But while in case of Windows 7 or 8, you can directly right click and go to properties and get your file path. Yeah. File location, just right click, go to properties. Just copy this link, close it. What you have to do is just edit. Paste it click OK apply OK and now you can just click on console it will be opening in SOC terminal now you can directly configure with the SOC that's it this is the way you need to synchronize your SOC terminal with GNS3 thanks for watching until next time